now moving to the second section in which we want to store this test data in excel file as we have already covered excel read and write lecture so i hope you remember that we need xlwt library for that so first we need to import xlwt library now i want to move to workbook then worksheet and want to add some data into the sheet so what i'm doing workbook object that i'm creating so xlwt so now first i have created a workbook object and inside the workbook we have worksheet so i'm creating object of the worksheet ws that is wk dot add sheet so i'm adding a new sheet into the workbook and here i'm passing sheet 1 we can give any name to the worksheet so again so now in loop i'm going to write my code like i want to save data into the worksheet to ws dot write and now in write method we need to pass three arguments one is row so row i'm going to use i other is column column i'm going to use first column we need to pass indexes so for indexes always start from zero so first row and first column the index will be zero even if i want to generate data from the row zero we can start the loop by using zero and third is the data so my data will be generated by data dot name so as of now we have worksheet inside the worksheet i'm going to generate 10000 data and for writing data we are using this write method in the write method we are passing three arguments row column and then data so once everything is done i'm going to save this workbook so wk dot save and passing the location like my g drive inside the g drive i have a folder soap inside the soap i want to give name is the result dot xls running this and here we can see this red button so that is still enable means my execution is on once this button get disabled means execution is done successfully so here we see my red button is disabled so i'm moving to the target location g drive my soap folder and inside the soap folder the name of the file was result double click on that here we see 10000 names are generated So I'm scrolling to last record and here we can see we have 10,000 names. I close this file. Now I want to add few more data into the file, into the output file. So I'm writing like ws.write and this time again the row is i so every time i will increase my row will change and the column is one so this time i want to add data into the second column so we are passing one and here i want to pass address so that is full address i want to generate one more data that is here again i to and then email so i passed email so now i want to save name full address and email to my output file running it again and again we can see this red button which is still on means execution is taking place
once execution will done successfully it will gray out so it's taking some time because it's generating 10,000 records and each record will have three data so it's going to take around 10 to 15 seconds to perform complete task so here it is grayed out means my test data generated moving to my target location and that's my result file started it so here we can see that's the name that's my complete address and that's the email so we have 10,000 records for name address and email so by this way we can generate any number of records and we can write data like name address email phone number company name so we can have a lot of options for the test data here we have covered two sections in first section we have gone through how we can generate test data and display on the console in second section we have generated test data and stored into the a target excel file